In this video, we'll take a quick look at the Workspace ONE Intelligence architecture. As a reminder, Workspace ONE Intelligence provides deep insights and in application analytics into the entire digital workspace, and it offers powerful automation that can increase user experience, help optimize resources, and strengthen the security and compliance across the entire environment. Now, the intelligence service aggregates and correlates data from multiple sources to give you visibility into the entire environment. It then helps produce insights and data that allows you to make the right decisions for your deployment. It also has a built-in automation engine that can create rules to take automated action on issues. And some of the key benefits include managing complexity and security without compromising on user experience. It can also help quickly resolve issues that could impact user experience. We can also use it to monitor device and application usage to optimize the resources usage. And lastly, detecting and automating and remediating security vulnerabilities. Architecturally, let's look at you know, what makes up Workspace ONE Intelligence. Workspace ONE Intelligence is a cloud-only service run by VMware, hosted on Amazon Web Services. It includes a few different components. And first, that cloud service, and it's running on Amazon, as I said. It's going to aggregate all the data, and it'll generate and schedule reports for you and it'll populate dashboards with different views and different data points that you choose to see. It will consume and also use a few consoles. So it'll use the Workspace ONE UEM console. It will also use the Workspace ONE Intelligence console, and currently it will use the App Intelligence for application analytics. Now when it's gathering data and analyzing that, it will take data from several different sources. It will take data from Workspace ONE UEM, VMware Identity Manager, Workspace ONE Intelligence SDK, and also from the common vulnerability and exposes, the CVE. Architecturally, as I said, this is mostly a cloud service consuming data resources. So as soon as it's turned on and you accept it to be running, it will gather those data. When we're gathering data from Workspace ONE UEM, the only component we need to consider is the Workspace ONE Intelligence Connector. This is an ETL service. It's extracting, transforming, and loading that data. If we're running Workspace ONE UEM as a SaaS tenant, there's nothing to deploy. Turning it on and accepting it running will deploy that ETL service. When we're running Workspace ONE UEM on-premises though, we need to install that connector onto a Windows server. To read more about the architecture of Workspace ONE Intelligence, please look at the reference architecture section on techzone.vmware.com.